right subject, in love with the boss. Mm. Dear Stephen Shirley, I am 19 years old and a junior in college. I've only, I've had only one boyfriend my entire life, but recently I've broken up with him because I am involved with my boss. It was so weird how it started because he told me that he saw me as a daughter. I would always open up to him and talk to him about school and other issues. He would give me advice and I trusted him. He gave me his number when my grandmother was dying and told me I could talk to him anytime. So much happened in that month with my boyfriend and I having issues, my grandmother passing, working two jobs, moving out of my apartment and taking classes for school. He decided to give me a key to his house and said it was nothing but a father and daughter relationship between us. I didn't have a relationship with my father and he knew this and I thought I could trust him. He also knew that my mother and I had communication problems as well. Soon after taking the key, he came on to me and we had sex, then got into a relationship. After a month of dating, I found out he lied about his age, him not having a girlfriend, and many other things. He is 53 years old and has another woman and other children in another state. He also has two daughters who are around my age. I am so hurt and confused. I broke up with my boyfriend to be with him, and he lied to me about everything. I also found out that he has a possible drug problem. I love him, and he constantly flirts with other women at work. He has threatened me before and has told me that he wants to get me pregnant so I can be his forever. He has hurt me countless times, and when I talk to him about it, he tells me I'm complaining and acting like a little girl. He says I need to grow up and realize that this is a real world, and he is teaching me how to live in it. I just can't help how I feel. I feel like he took advantage of me. I don't want to be the victim of uh, the victim in this because I am an adult, but I really trusted him and he let me down. He told me he wanted to marry me and be with me forever. Please help me because it is a distraction at work and school. It hurts so bad. I can't figure out what I did for him to betray me. I came in, uh, um, I, I came to him for advice and help and now I'm hurting like I never have before. Well, you got to think about this situation because he kept saying that you're like a daughter to him. Uh, you know, you're like a daughter to him and you looked at him like a father figure. Well, would a father really do this, what he's done to you, to his daughter? I mean, you got to open your eyes and look at this situation for what it really is. And first of all, you got to pack your things and get out of there. I mean, I'm just telling you, you need to go and go today because this old man played you every step of the way. Every weakness you had, he played on that. You didn't have a dad. He played on that. You and your mother don't have communi uh, you, good communication. Your grandmother passing, you know, you moved out of your apartment. Every way that he could play you, he did. So you're right. He is taking advantage of you. That's what Paul Paul is doing. He's 53 years old. He's old enough to be your grandfather. I mean, uh, you know, you're a victim of his mistreatment. You don't have to be a victim any longer. Please, I'm I'm just really asking you to get out of this man's house. You've got to get out of there. Uh, you're so young. You're so so willing to do whatever he says. And and obviously, you know, you don't know that that this is not the way a man should treat the the person that he loves. Okay, you, you can't do that. A man doesn't treat a woman like this. All right. Please pack your bags and get out of this man's house. Call your mother. Call a friend. Just get out of this house get away from him so you can see this situation clearly steve for what oh, it really is ass yeah. dog thank you that's all we talking about here oh ass dog mm, mm, mm. little girl you are out of your league you have no future with this man he is damn near dead. <laughs> when you're 19 and you're trying to build a future with somebody 53, he is much closer to death than you are. Even if y'all got married when you say the vows to death do us part, that could be any day now. <laughs>
<laughs> but let me go on and break this down, because my whole thing is going to be right. I found out he, he lied about his age. He lied about not having a girlfriend. He's 53 years old. He got another woman and other children in another state. Lady, I can't tell you what all gone wrong in this man's life that he ain't told you about. I can go down the list of things he probably got that you don't know nothing about. He probably got gout. He ain't told you about that either, honey. <laughs> Betty got diabetes. I ain't even mentioned that. Probably had polio as a child. Did he tell you that? With his old ass. He done been to prison. Never mentioned that to you, has he? He is old. Old people have a whole lot of history going on. He used to march with Dr. King. Did he ever tell you that? Ah, uh, cause he oh, he got a lot of, he dated Frida Payne. You ain't heard nothing about that, have you? All that is left is a band of gold. He dated Frida Payne. That's how old he is. That talking to your young ass. Yeah. He got his hair done at the same shop James Brown got his hair done. Shut up, Steve. The same <laughs> damn shop down in the gutter. <laughs> yes. He ain't, he ain't mentioned that to you, though, has he? Oh, I'm telling you, he one of the founders of the college you go to. <laughs> <laughs> I have a list of what you don't know about this man coming up. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. This old man right here. And went and got this 19-year-old girl and gained her confidence with his old stanking behind. Mm -hmm. Know the girl, hurt, know the game. When you're 53, you know the game. So busy spending my time warning young girls about the pitfalls of some older men. 19, he 53. What he want with you? You had better yet, what you want with him? Yeah. Should have stayed with your little boyfriend. Got you some kind of life together. Y'all be playing video games. Y'all be going to the mall, having a good time. Now, you can't go to the mall right now because he got to go to the damn bathroom every time he pass a restroom. The doctor. Can't even have a good time with him. You got to carry him to doctor's appointments. Oh. Sitting up in here, man, and four hours, three times a week, you taking his old ass down on dialysis. <laughs> can't even enjoy yourself. And you sitting up here talking about he lied to you about his age and having a girlfriend and a whole lot of other things. He 53 years old with another woman and another child in another state. Another child? Did he tell you he used to manage Curtis Blow? Do you know that? <laughs> Not the break, Curtis Blow. Do that you know dog. that? You know how old he is? Mm -mm. You rough for the And he might have a drug problem, Steve. Come on. Yeah, your grandmama passed. Did he tell you they used to date? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Did he tell yeah. you that he used to date your grandmama? That's it right Betty there. kept that away from you, too. Uh -huh. You got to quit seeing this old-ass man. Yeah. Just sitting up in here, man. Did you know? that he was standing right beside Crispus Attucks when he got shot <laughs> <laughs> in the Civil War. Did he tell you that? The stuff he done kept to you. Did you know he was one of the original Temptations? <laughs> <laughs> Melvin, Otis, all of them know it. <laughs> <laughs> when you date an old man, it's just too much going to come out. Yeah, I just found out he had another woman. To he got shot down as one of the original Tuskegee Airmen. He was the first one who got uh, shot down. You know you what? He ain't told you, you that. You know what? <laughs> I'm just trying to ask you, what all do you know about him? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, to her. Do you know he was the drummer for Chucky Chacker when the twist was out? <laughs> Chucky Did Chucky. he tell you that? I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that he used to steal soup in the soup line at the Depression. Did he mention wow. that to you? He was alive during the Depression? Wow. wow. In the 20s. Did he tell you how he originally made his money? Did he tell you that? How? Did he tell you he was the originator and creator of the cotton gin? Did you know that? <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, sitting up in here yeah. messing yeah. around with you. Please get out of there.
Mm. Him and Mom's Mabley was kicking it. <laughs> you don't know nothing about this man. <laughs> mm, mm, I like it. I like it, big doggy. At that age, 19, you think you know everything, man. Boy, and you don't know nothing. Get out. <laughs> Sitting up here and fell in love with this old fool. Mm, 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 Sitting mm, up mm. in here in the cell right across from Nelson Mandela. Oh, he ain't open his mouth about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> Leave mm. Papa today. Okay. Sitting up in here, man. What, Used Steve? to iron all the hair Tubman's clothes before she left on her trip. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't saying nothing about that with his old age. We'll be back with Junior Time at 34 after the hour. You're listening to the Steve 